Hello. In this problem, we have an unknown mass hanging from, a, from the piston of a piston cylinder device, which is upside down. The inside pressure is given 50 kPa, and the outside pressure is given as 100 kPa, the atmospheric pressure. Now the piston has a diameter of 25 centimeter, and we are asked to find what is the mass, what is the hanging mass. Well, to solve this problem, all we need to do is to isolate the piston and do a free body diagram, which is shown here. So we have a downward force of force created by the internal pressure, Pi times A, and the weight of the piston in kilonewton will be mg divided by 1000, which is balanced by the upward force, uh, atmospheric pressure acting over the area A. So this is our governing equation, the energy, uh, the, mass, the force balance. So let us see how we use the Descal to solve the problem. Because if we solve it with Descal, we can quickly turn the problem around and say, wait, if, what if the diameter was not 25 centimeter? What if it were, you know, 30 centimeter? How would that impact the answer? So this kind of what if studies become much simpler. So what we'll do, uh, we'll, 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 we'll launch the test step I've already logged in as a student and go to test steps and Descal. Here you'll find plenty of example videos using this app. And you go to the Descal page. This launches the app. And so first we start with uh, all the given values. So we write a little comment line. Comment line begins with the pound sign, which is this one, uh, given values. Oops. Uh, diameter in centimeter, the first maybe uh, pressure outside in kPa equals 100. Notice how we name the variables. Uh, always uh, put the unit in the name of the variable that simplifies uh, calculations much later on or to understand your code. Pressure inside in kPa is given to us as 50. Um, and notice if I just enter button means calculate or I can calculate using this button and the values are registered and uh, they are displayed here. P inside is not displayed because I forgot the equal sign. Now it will show up here. So likewise, mm, I have already entered the diameter in centimeter as 75 g in meter per second square is 9.81. So now we can go ahead and mm, do some derived variables. Okay, we can declare, okay, we can find diameter in meter would be what? Diameter in centimeter divided by 100. Um, area in meter square would be what? Pi times diameter square divided by four. And this will be in meter square. So now we can do, start doing a force balance here, okay? So we'll write another comment. Force balance. And the force, let's say, name it variable, say force Essentially, you want to equate the downward force with upward force. If you recall, the upward force is known completely. In kilonewton, that will be pressure outside in kPa times the area of the piston in meter square. So let's make sure uh, these values are being calculated. Yes, the upward force is 44 kilonewton. We know that the downward force must be um, and kilonewton must be exactly equal. And we can just go and copy this variable, control C, control V, and that's our force balance, right? They must be equal. And the downward force is made up of what? It's made up of the weight of the pist piston and the force from the internal pressure. So therefore, weight of the piston must be, in kilonewton must be equals uh, the, the downward force that we have just calculated minus the contribution from the internal pressure, which is P inside 
in kPa times area in meter square. So therefore, the weight of the piston is 22 kilonewton. So therefore, mass of the piston in kg must be equals the weight uh, divided by the weight in newton, which is weight times 1,000, divided by g in meter square, meter per second square. Calculate, and the answer is 2,251 uh, kilograms. So as you can see, now that we have the code and we have all the answers, we can go and given variables, you can change any of them and click the calculate button to get a modified answers. So this is what is called our test codes. Uh, we'll copy these and this will be, uh, this can be used anytime to regenerate the solution.